Hi guys, today I am going to be talking about ScreenPal. ScreenPal is a Chrome extension which is powered by Screencast-O-Matic, as you can see on the screen. Uh, it allows you to change any editable field into a video, an area where you can put a video on. I think it's super useful if you want to be uh, more productive in an email or things like that. And myself, being a language teacher, I find it pretty nifty if you want to be creating some quizzes, for example, or some of fun activities. So let's dive in. So here I am in the Chrome Web Store. Okay, so I just look for a screen pal and will be appearing here. So this is the one there. We can see it's been added already and I already have that little um, icon here in my bar. So you will see that when we're gonna be going onto different apps now, this little icon will be appearing in the different boxes that if you are so. edge user but you want to have a chrome extension that is possible so uh let's go and have a play i'm going to go into the chrome web store you can see it's already there click for your app search the store uh, look for your extension here it is you click on it you can see you can now add extension from the chrome web store to microsoft edge click on add to chrome so let's do this then add to chrome and it's going to tell you all these little things and you can click on it and you can add your extension straight away into your Chrome. Doing that, checking, boom. Okay, and it's going to be asking you to log in and stuff again and blah, blah, blah. And you can see that it's there now. So um, nice and easy and simple to do too. Uh, obviously we now have to create an account with uh, Screen Customatic. So if you go onto this ScreenPal page, you can create a free account. So um, let's go and have a play, first of all, in a normal email field. Okay, here I am in my email. Uh, I've also sent an email by a friend who was stuck on doing something and uh, he or she needs to be sorted out. Um, so you could do a quick demo. Um, maybe it's a long email. You don't already want to explain anything. You could be using voice typing, which is great and works well. But also if I've got that um, extension downloaded, you can see I've got that little icon, which I have here, also here. So if I click on it, hello. So you can see me, you can either record the screen, have the camera on, and have both okay so maybe this time around i just want to record a quick screen demo and not showing my face so i'm going to start recording so a little stuck on canva maybe and i am going to try to sort something out so you go i want to the entire screen to be recorded so i click on that it could have just a bit of window uh, and it could be just a chrome tab but we'll just concentrate on this one now so click on share three two one Okay, mate, so you'll start and you want to do some rounded corners for a picture. Okay, that's nice and easy. You go into frame, temp elements, frame, put your frame here, put your pick one side in there, get any random pictures. Oh, look at a beautiful cake, put it here, boom, done. Now you can see here on the side here, I can stop it. So you'll start and you want to do some rounded corners for Okay, I can hear myself again. I can pause it by clicking on it. Uh, if I'm happy with it, I just click finish up and insert video. It's going to be inserting the video. If I want to edit something because I did something which wasn't quite right, well, I can edit it nice and easy. I can have a quick look. I can trim the bits, the beginning and the bits at the end. Okay, or I can bin it if I'm not happy with it. And there we go. Okay. So now it's going to be putting my screen pile, little video in my straightaway without me putting a link or anything. It's just there. And if I over, overhead, okay, okay. so you'll start and you want to do some it's rounded corners. We start reading my okay, video straight away. Okay. So that's quite fun. So I'm going to, I'm going to send it to myself and we're going to see what it looks like on the other side. Okay, so I've sent it into another browser uh, which hasn't got the, the extension. So I'm going to get just a message like this. And if I click on it, I should be able to be seeing my message in screen customatic and just click on it. You don't technically you should be logged in or anything like that. So you just should, you should be able to read the message. Okay, mate. So you'll start and you want to do some rounded corners for a picture. Okay, that's nice and easy. 
Okay, so you see that straight away I have, uh, I can click on that link and go straight away into Screencast-O-Matic. I will be able to read it and and watch that and straight now away. I've bounced back the um, message into my email in Gmail. You can see, obviously, because I have the extension into uh, my browser, it's going to be much easier. I don't even have to click on the link. I just over. Okay, mate, so you're stuck and you want to do some rounded corners for a picture. Okay, that's nice and easy. You go. So you can see just by hovering over it, it's just going to be playing it straight away my video. So it's quite funny and it's quite quick. Also, you don't really have to click on the link and you can play it straight away. Okay, I'm now trying to give you a few ideas on how to be using uh, this excellent extension uh, in the language classroom. Uh, here I'm using the wheel of names. Obviously, the wheel of names can use it many, many ways. You can put some text if you want to uh, do some cold calling. You do that, put all the people's name, and you can ask questions where the wheel falls on them and stuff like that. You could have add some images, so you can upload some images and you can work on that. And also, you can name it. No, they can start speaking about the picture or stuff like that. That's amazing. But I think with ScreenPal here, we have a little something that we can play with, and um, it could be quite fun just to record some questions, for example, or we'll say something and we'll have to translate it or uh, or something like that. And it will be a random too, so it, it could be quite fun. So we'll record a few of them. So if I do this, you go on screen pal again, you can see it just appears at the bottom here because it's a, 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 a text field. You can see I've got a camera here. You can record the screen, but it's better probably if I see, you see my face, maybe not, but uh, we'll have a play. Okay, I'm gonna record something here. Ok, uh, comment tu t'appelles et quelle est la date de ton anniversaire? And I am going to put another one, just for the fun of it. This way I have two questions at least. Et où habites-tu? Et tu habites dans une maison ou tu habites dans un appartement? Obviously you can do it in any languages and you'll be using uh, the Wheel of Names in class or you can put it online for the children to be... Um, uh, to be uh, playing with that and answering questions and things like that. So now after that, just... Spin the wheel. And obviously there's only two of them there. So um, there we go. So we've got a spin It's got to be a bit of a little clap. Well done. Okay. And when I go into it. There we go. Okay. So we have that straight away. We have a... Uh, the questions, I could be saying it, but I think it could be quite fun. Maybe they could be recording their own ones. Uh, lots of possibilities there. Obviously, if I don't want to have the applause, I can customize it because this in this video, it's it's a bit annoying to have the applause. You want maybe to have the stuff straight away. So you could have the ticking sound if you want. You can have all sorts of things there. Uh, after the spin, maybe I've got a studio to upload or I've got nothing. Uh, or kind of an evil laugh. Why not? Uh, it's really up to you. I would say no sound maybe to uh, to keep um, the, the 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 question as the main thing instead of having the applause, but that will be really up okay. to you. Okay, here I am in uh, Microsoft Forms and I want to create a quiz which is based on uh, speaking and listening. And obviously, you can use ScreenPal the way that you want to and depending on your learning objectives here, I just want to check their comprehension on a, something that they have we have been working on. So. Let's add a choice question this way. Being a quiz, it will be automatically marked. I don't have to spend too much time listening to it because that's not the point here. Just checking the comprehension, not on the speaking. Um, therefore, I'm going to be recording a question. Okay. Qu'est-ce qu'on trouve dans une boulangerie? Then I've got several options there. Uh, I'm going to record these also with the video. Du pain, des tomates, des magazines. Okay, so I have my three questions recorded now. And what I need to do, I'm just going to have a quick look at the preview. Obviously, it's all going to be linked, so have a look at the preview. And you can see that uh, I've just got links there, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest. And just go, and if I hover, I will have the question. Okay. Qu'est-ce qu'on trouve dans une boulangerie? And you can have your free Du pain, des tomates, des magazines. Okay, you can see it's quite nice, it's quite straightforward, and you have the person speaking. 
and uh, you you have your sound there and your video and after that your quiz can be uh, submitted and you have the answer straight away by picking the obviously the right answer okay that's one option okay back to max for forms and i'm going to be this time around just adding some text uh, and again this is just one of my ideas that i'm sure there are plenty of uh, other ideas here um what you can do here is ask a question something a bit a bit meaty for example and expect the the pupils to to answer so i click my button and record. Ok, alors qu'est-ce que tu as fait euh, pendant les vacances euh, l'année dernière? What did you do during the holidays last year? So I'm expecting them to be writing something in the past tense and they could be writing something in the past tense there. So there's a video, they get a message and they write it down, they can type it up, if obviously the objective of this is to actually write things down. Um, so you can go on, on preview and again you're going to have the video there when you um, when you um, uh, hover over it. So another possibility of course if you want uh, the uh, the people to uh, to speak you can uh, do that and use Vocaroo for example. In this case uh, you probably are familiar with Vocaroo too, just uh, record something, you get your link and in the answer they can pump a link and you can actually listen to that. It's not immediate uh, like it would be uh, in another app like Flipgrid for example you can ask questions, you could be answering questions back and stuff like that or plenty of uh, other possibilities but that could be one possibility there. Also. Okay so I want to still use a video, this is uh, Google um, Forms which is also excellent if you're a Google user or, or if you, your school is set up with Google, that's perfect. Um, same possibilities, I go into my text box and I have the little icon where I can record a video. I've just recorded a quick video asking about the holidays and stuff. Yeah. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire pour les prochaines vacances? There we go. Uh, so what are you going to do in the next holidays? This is the video that I want. And again, it could be typing the answer, the longer answer there as a paragraph. You can be changing this if you wanted to. It's up to you how you want to work it out depending on your learning objective. What could be done also there if I check what the preview I could be answering with mode okay you can click to record something so this is a Google extension uh, and you can have it for free if you're only using, using 30 seconds recording time only 20 modes per month limit so that could be a bit tight um, you have to pay the rest after that uh, if it's for one person but schools if you're a school you just contact them, get a quick quote, and you could potentially get a very, very good deal if you are using things like that, or you could be using another tool. But I think Mode's quite good. You could be using Vukuru, which is free also. Um, if I click on Record here, pour les prochaines vacances, je vais aller en Italie avec ma famille. Okay, this is very short, and I've got now, obviously, I could be using the free version here if I'm going to be answering that way, but that's perfect. And I can submit it after and I've got my pupils who have just answered like this and I can listen to it. Okay, uh, one other possibility in this case. To conclude then, ScreenPower, uh, I think it's a very good extension, it's fun, it's free uh, and you can make your life slightly easier by doing some things much quicker, answering emails with a quick video for example, troubleshoot something happening on a computer someone cannot do or explain something very briefly. Um, that's that's got lots of potential and if we have a look uh, with the language side of teaching for example in the in the world language classroom uh, a few demos for me with uh, the wheel of names I think was quite fun um, you could be using that also with forms and Google forms and Maxwell forms mode and as well as Vokaroo plenty of potential again as I said there and just my ideas I'm sure lots of you will have ideas about how to use um, this excellent screen product extension and I'll be very happy to know about them so feel free to be um, writing some comments uh, below the video. Hope this was useful and entertaining and I hope to see you soon on my channel.